Now to new developments where police believe a deadly shooting at the Brandon Hill condos could potentially have links to the disappearance of a Clarkson boy blaze that prompted a nationwide Amber Alert. Christy Diaz joins us live outside DeKalb Police Headquarters. Christy, investigators making some progress here, putting the pieces together in this case. Slowly but surely, Cheryl, and we now have all three 911 calls, and you're going to hear parts of each one. This investigation now taking an interesting turn as police are now connecting it to a shooting at the apartment complex where that car was eventually found. Somebody just stole my car and my son is in there. This is the call that activated a nationwide Amber Alert for one-year-old baby Blaze after this family's car was stolen as they unloaded groceries. I don't, I don't know nobody. I just took my, I took my nephew in the house and put all my bags in the house. I came back outside, everything gone. The family distraught, hoping, praying for a sighting of baby Blaze. About 10 hours into the search, someone spotted the car at Brandon Hill Apartments. Hey, I'm at Brandon Hill Apartment. The SUV y'all looking for with the baby in it, uh, it's an SUV park all the way in the back back here. The car was found, but baby Blaze was not inside. The hours ticked on until someone finally made this call. Someone left a baby in a car seat in my van. Less than a mile away, a woman surprised to find the baby inside her car, which was in the driveway of her home on Rogers Street in Clarkston. You can hear her comforting baby Blaze on the call. Okay. It's okay, sweetie. You're okay. Okay. I don't know how long she's been in there. She could have been overnight because it's the first time I've gone out for the day. Now, DeKalb police say a shooting at the apartment complex where the car was found is related to the kidnapping of the one-year-old boy. Two people were arrested for that shooting and charged with murder. Investigators now peeling back the layers of how it's connected to a missing baby boy. Now we push police for more information. Uh, they say the motive of that shooting is connected to baby Blaze's disappearance, but the 60 year old victim who was killed in that shooting is not connected in any way. But right now, guys, that is all they will say. All right, Christy, thank you for the update. It is fascinating to hear those 911 calls. Yeah, and people are so captivated by the story and just keep wanting to know more about it. So mm -hmm. glad we're getting new information.